Hey everybody, how's it going? Back out in the garage today. Um, this one's finished. I'm going to be working on my other one, but I'm not going to video it because you already know. So what I was talking about before is when I bring my zero turn on, which I'm going to have to make some type of a ramp here and drive up on, and I want this level in here. Like my other one back there, it's flat across the top, and you can see the way it hangs in into the ledge there but this one here is going to sit on top and I want it level so I went down to the Amish farm which is here's a blurry picture of it and told them the sizes I need 33 inches by 11 and a half or 11 and a quarter wide by three inches high and I said I can do it in one big chunk or a couple pieces whatever you got they immediately ran over and started cutting wood for me to my exact measurements. So this is some kind of, you've told me what wood it is, but let's see if it fits. Perfect. Freaking perfect. So there's one. Oh, it's got tar on it. And here's two. Oh, that's nice. So that's cool. I'll screw these together. So now, it's not too bad. A little tiny bit of a raise up. Let me get down lower so you can see it. A little bit of a step up here. But that's okay. I'd rather have it go up than drop down in three inches. So there you go. The Amish threw this together immediately for me. They cut it. This is one long piece. They cut it up into four pieces. And then they trimmed it the width down the fit. And it's funny because all their saws are uh, gas powered. And I was talking to him. I said, hey, I thought you guys can't use gas. And he says, no, we can't use electricity. We can use gas. Here's my other pieces. Which now I've got to go in there and get that one right there. I'm going to have to cut that one up next. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's funny. At the time I go... I wasn't even paying attention to how much money I had on me, and and he says twelve dollars. I'm like, really twelve bucks? Um, to do everything they did was, I thought was a wicked good deal. This is some really heavy freaking wood, and I can't remember the name of it. But so I checked my pockets. I had like six dollars. I'm like, oops. I said, hey, I got to run down to the ATM get some cash. I go, um. You need anything while I'm down there? And his eyes lit up. He's like, yeah, can you take this gas can down and fill it up? I'm like, absolutely. So here is a picture, as ridiculous as it is, a picture of the Amish gas can in my car. So now you know what an Amish gas can looks like. <laughs> hey, it looks just like mine. Yeah, so I went down and uh, filled up the can and they use mid-grade. They don't use the cheap. They don't use the expensive. So they use the middle grade. And then I bought them four of these. I got them all different flavors. You know, I got uh, raspberry. I got the lemon. I got sweet tea. And I got peach. And the kid grabbed the, uh, grabbed the one. And I saw the color of it. It was blue. So I said, what flavor did you get? And he's looking. And he's looking. And he spins right past the label. And I said, no, it's back there. He says, sweet. And I'm like, yeah, that's the best one. So they're all happy. And the gas actually costs more than the wood. And he says, let me get you the change. I'm like, no. I said, don't worry about it. You know, the hell's 50 cents, you know. So it was cool. So I got to meet our local sawmill Amish people. And they're wicked nice. And uh, I gave my cell number. I said, do you have a phone? He says, well, we're not supposed to. And I said, yeah, I know how that goes. I said, here's my number. If you ever need anything, give me a call. So that's cool. I mean, they dropped what they were doing. And they're in the middle of building the shed. They dropped everything and paid 100% attention to me and instantly got on this stuff. Unbelievable, you know? You know, nowadays you go to a store, you can't find any freaking help. And then if you get the help, they're idiots. So I got that good to say about the Amish is they hooked me right up quick, so... You know, that was nice. So I had a really nice uh, nice time sitting there chatting with them. But, and I learned some stuff. So that was cool. But 
they know me. They know I'm the guy with the train horn because I beep at the kids all the time when they're out on recess at their school they have down the road from me. So, Well, there you go. That's the excitement I had today. And when I'm done with this video, I'm going to start chopping up my other one. I'm going to put screw this together in a couple places and then probably make... Uh, I ain't going to make nothing. I'm not going to screw it to the plate. This way I can just flip the plate up and knock the wood out if I have to. So that's it. Well, thanks for subscribing and listening to my Amish story. It was rather interesting. I snuck the pictures in. I know that one was blurry, but I took it as I was pulling back into the driveway because you're not supposed to take pictures of them, and they're not in the picture, so I can't get in trouble. But All right, everybody. Have a great day. Subscribe, like, and share. Uh, maybe I'll be bringing some more Amish stories to video sometime later. Uh, you never know. I never know. I never what's going on in my channel. So we're getting, we're really running towards a thousand subscriber marks. That getaway, getaway, yeah, the getaway, the giveaway is getting closer. Yeah, don't get away. Stick around for the giveaway. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.